Welcome back to Eric's Hobby Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how I built this massive piece of industrial terrain. The video got kind of long, so I split it into two parts. Today I'm going to show you the construction, and then next week, at the same time, I'll release a video showing all the painting and final detailing. Let's get to it! The basis of this build is going to be these two gang old work boxes. These are used by electricians in the walls of your home behind light switches and electric sockets. These things have a really great sci-fi shape and are about $2 a piece at Home Depot. So I quickly realized they're exactly the same height as these old Necromunda bulkheads, which really opened the possibilities for building. After playing around a bit, I started with this rough shape. Another great scratch-built terrain channel called Wylox Armory did a video on these recently that I'll link below. So I start by cutting some chipboard out to make a base. Next, I use a hot glue gun to glue down the gang boxes. Using these old Necromunda bulkheads, I glue them sideways so the ladder above just kind of looks like a patterned area. One on top, and there's my basic structure. Next, I'm using an old lightsaber. Many of you probably had this toy or had kids that had this toy. One thing I noticed is that when I was young, this is how you turned on the lightsaber, this switch here. In the original Star Wars, that's where Luke turns it on from, but somehow the button migrated to up here. Anyways, let's stop fooling around. This thing's actually really hard to get out. I thought I'd just be able to yank it out because I'm really strong, but uh, yeah, I wasn't able to. So let's cut that thing out. I basically just opened the outer sheath took this tube out, which is going in the bit box, and there's the lightsaber I'm going to use. The reason I took the blade out is for weight purposes. So I glue that down. You might recognize this pink piece from one of my first videos. It's part of a toy shopping cart. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's called Dystopian Industrial Terrain something or other. I sand that up with a little bit of sandpaper so the super glue will adhere better and then I glue the piece of mesh inside. Now that I've got this cut, I glue that platform in. Next I'm going to use a piece that's been kicking around my bit box for a while. This is from an old Batman playset that I found at a thrift store. You can see it on the right there in the picture. Anyways, I think it'll go really well for this. It's kind of a third floor. Let's put some glue on and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I add another one of those platforms made from the shopping cart. And now I'm going to use these plastic toy garden tools, which when you cut the tool blades off, look a lot like steel I-beams. So using my hobby saw, I'll cut that to length. I'll glue that in there. Cool. Add some more lengths to other parts that need support, like that bottom platform and the top piece there. And then I use a little bit of plastic card to cover this hole on the top. This looks pretty sloppy now, but it's all going to play into the improvised ramshackle look I'm going for later. One more beam to support that flimsy piece there. And then I'm going to add some platforms. These have been covered in previous videos. This piece is interesting, it was kicking around my bit box. I think it was a model covered bridge. It says handcrafted by the village craftsman. I don't know. Looks good on there anyways. I had another platform on the side of the tower. And then I start using these styrene stairs. These are 1 to 48 scale. And I'll put a link in the bio because these are awesome. You cut little pieces and you can add quick little staircases right at scale anywhere you want. And then boom, we got away from the second floor to the third. This is a piece of a game called Stratego. I've used this in a previous video. Found a bag of these on the street. It's gonna make a perfect little support just under my platform here. It adds a bunch of weird little detail. Some more stairs on the bottom layer there. More Stratego pieces to pop up the other platform. And here's a Power Rangers gun I found at the thrift store. This thing's gonna be an awesome top to the tower once we cut it up a little bit. So I cut off that handle. This 
part that clicks in and out on the side, I'm going to glue that in because I don't want it moving around anymore. And then I'm going to glue that into that piece of lightsaber that's left over, that sort of inner tube piece. Alright, that's working pretty well. This is from a toy fire truck. The piece was lying around my bits box. And that's going to cover that rough cut spot on the Power Rangers gun. Bam! Love it. This piece is from a toy car garage. I think it's actually a little car wash or something. Anyways, makes a cool little door. Add a little bit more platform. And now I'm going to use some of these model scale pipes. There's a link in my bio for these, if you like these. A lot of people ask about them. They're often listed as an educational toy for kids, which is why I think people have trouble finding them. I use a toy sports racket that I got at a dollar store. This is really good for inexpensive, quick railings and ladders. So I cut the piece out that I want, the length I want, trim the sides, and there's my ladder. I'll glue that on another way up the structure. What I'm clipping now is actually something that had socks folded on it that looks kind of like an I-beam. One of those plastic throwaway hanger things. Good to keep your eyes open. Anyways, I'm using this to glue another platform on to make another way to the top. I'll glue that little beam in there. Trim another set of stairs. Just like that. Quick and easy. As you can see I'm sort of improvising this build as I go, which is a lot of fun. Give it a shot. Add another ladder to complete the way to the top. And then I'm going to build a little computer console for the top. I'm starting with this plastic seat, which was on a military car I think that I took apart a while ago. And this plastic sign that was in a kit that came with a bunch of cheap cars. Thinking something like this will make a good computer. So I trim the pieces down. I cut some small rectangles of plastic card and beveled the edges with some sandpaper. This is going to make a cool screen. I've used a similar technique in my Zone Mortalis video. With hot glue I glue my seat piece and my sign piece together. And then I take these little pieces of plastic card and glue them into place and that little beveled piece of plastic card makes a nice computer screen. I slice up some plastic rod and using the tip of my knife apply these as extra details to my console. Next I glue some mesh to this little plastic platform to make a sort of access walkway. I trim the excess mesh glue that in place. I use a mini to help me place the console at the proper eye height. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. Using some diamond pattern plastic card, I cut up some little pieces and glue them here and there to help with the ramshackle look and cover any unsightly joins or add any detail where I feel it might be necessary. So I'm adding a couple panels on the top sort of bulk out the look of this walkway area up here. Cool. As you can see with the sun streaming in, it really dramatically changes the light in my filming conditions. I use another piece of that tennis racket to create a railing along one side of my upper platform. If you're wondering why I'm not putting more railings everywhere, the reason is so I can have catwalks and things attached at various angles later in a modular way. You'll see that in the second video. Here's another cool bit from my bits box that's just going to get glued onto this blank spot right here to break up the structure. I add a little bit of mesh, a little bit more plastic card. I use a sheet of corrugated paper to make a garage style door to go inside this little area here. More mesh, and little bits of plastic card wherever I feel needs a bit more detail. Another little ladder. 
This adds another root up to the top. And then I slap on a bunch more bits just to break up those flat surfaces. A couple pieces of plastic card, a little barrel here and there. And now for my method of bending styrene pipes using a candle. Use a respirator, make sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby, and be careful when doing this, but you can get some great results. I add a few of these little bent pipes here and there around the structure, and then a little bit from one of my Sector Mechanicus kits just at the top to add some more character. I add some wire, wires dangling here and there, really adds to the industrial look. Glue those on with hot glue. Don't worry about the little strings, you can get rid of them later. Giving that nice droopy wire look. And there we go, finished structure. Thanks again for tuning in. Once again, part two of this episode will be up next week, where we paint and detail the remaining parts of the structure. To be honest, when I started building this, I really expected it to be more of a shantytown residential type feel thing. And it's a bit more industrial than that, but I'm really pleased with it anyways. That's kind of the fun of improvising when you build rather than building from a plan, is happy accidents happen, and sometimes the best builds come from just holding the pieces you have up to each other and seeing how they work together, and then going with what works and adapting. So I encourage you to build more like that if you have a nice bits box full of stuff. I always say, you can never have too many bits. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell, and consider sharing it with your friends if you think it's something they might enjoy. I also just set up a Patreon account, so if you want to see more content like this, consider supporting me on there. It would really help me out and allow me to bring more good stuff to you guys on a more timely basis. Once again, part two of this episode will be up at this time next week. So we hope to see you there. See you next time in Eric's Hobby Workshop.